Number 190 in the Indicator series is Cisco Pike from 1972, starring Gene Hackman and Chris Christopherson. Uh, and this is one of those movies that's set over a couple of days. We're introduced to the character of Cisco Pike, who throughout the story we discover is a kind of failed musician, had a little bit of success, but kind of blew it all, turned to dealing drugs to some of his friends to make some money, and now has a pending court case against him, which could see him sent to jail for five years. Then we get the introduction of Gene Hackman's uh, police officer character, who is the man that arrested Cisco, and he's got an offer for him. He might change his statement and free him up, uh, from this court case and this pending jail that he may be going to if he does him a small favour and that is selling a large quantity of weed that he has. Now he's got uh, 56 hours I think it is to deliver 10 grand to Hackman's character and that's the basic premise. It's, it's a, a movie with a kind of little bit of a plot. It sets up at the start and then ultimately just lets the character evolve throughout these couple of days as he tries to contact his various friends as he tries to raise the money selling this uh, weed uh, for this corrupt cop and it feels at times aimless not in a bad way but we feel as if we're just kind of fluttering through the world of Cisco Pike as he bounces from various friend groups to other friend groups to session gigs um, to picking up women he just seems to be floating through life trying to deal with these various drug deals to raise the money and it's a movie that at the start I, I wasn't sure I was really going to like until you get to the real idea of the story and, and the, the plot kicks in I just felt it was a bit um, as if it was just floating you know, it wasn't going anywhere. It was just kind of treading water a little bit. But I kind of liked the, the character of Cisco. You know, he's a man who knows when to talk and knows when to shut up, who is a little bit smarter than most of these other street criminals that are going about. Um, he kind of knows the signs and the wariness of when to walk away from things and when not to. He's got the relationship with Karen uh, Black, who, which is kind of deteriorating as the movie goes on. Um, he has friends that come in and out of his life that are there for uh, a little bit of time and then vanish again Harry Dean Stanton turns up in an awesome role uh, later on in the movie and we're really watching this man who has to do something who's under a little bit of pressure to get it done within a set period of time but it's so engaging and it's so fun to watch this character and his various dealings uh, and even times where he's becoming frustrated uh, because people aren't playing the game the way he wants them to, you see him kind of take it in his stride. He seems like a say, easy character to go with. You know, he, his back's against the wall. He wants to kind of clean up his act. He's forced into doing this kind of job he doesn't want to um, for a cop that could possibly free him or could possibly set him up. He's never too sure. Um, and Gene Hackman in the movie is really great you know kind of early rendition of Popeye Doyle almost the way he bursts into the scene the way he's beating up uh, Cisco the way he's demanding that he sells these drugs it's a, a really strange character and it, it's good when it gets to the end and it clears up the mass of nations as to why he's doing what he's doing not just a dirty cop but there's reasons behind what's going on I kind of like uh, the way it all ties together but just watching this character uh, go through the early 70s uh, landscapes and the, the various cars and the people and the clothes it's all wonderfully engaging it all just captured me up uh, in the moment almost I really kind of liked it a lot and it's one of those movies like I said I, I, I was feeling a little bit jaded going into it I wasn't sure that I wanted to give it the time but it, it it won me round. It made me kind of sit up and pay attention to it. I thought Chris Christopherson was really good in the main role. I've seen him in other things, but I thought like, as an introduction, as, as his first movie, I think he does remarkably well considering being the, the lead. I think Gene Hackman, um, who isn't in the movie much, but really uh, adds a lot to it when he gets there. And it's just a, a product of its time, but really fun and interesting. I'd love to know your thoughts on Cisco Pike if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.